Yeah. I barely keep it going for Sarah. She's keeping his ass in the fire right now. Keep it going for Sarah, yeah. Oh, man. That was funny, because, like, right when he started telling that joke, my wife turns around and is like, that's something that you would ask me. Just because I know she can get better something somewhere else doesn't mean I ain't curious about it. Oh, my self-esteem. <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, I, speaking of being with people and being in, and being in love and whatnot, how do you know when a woman really loves you? How do you know? Because I know earlier I talked about dating and there's still some mystery. I guess, how do you know if a woman really loves you? But you know what? And y'all are being actually super quiet right now, being an awesome audience. I'm going to tell you the secrets. I finally figured it out. I got it going. If a woman can fart in front of you, hi, Mom, how you doing? That's true love right there. However, <laughs> whoa. However, there is a disclaimer. If she shits her pants, though, I want to kick her, kick her loose. Nasty. <laughs> but you know what? I, and I wish I had learned that sooner in life. I did. Because while I have my beautiful wife here with me right now, I was married once before. I was. Yeah, but it wouldn't have worked out anyway, wouldn't it? Because not too long ago, a little birdie flew down and told me that my ex-wife just recently came out as gender fluid. And I ain't knocking. I ain't talking shit. I'm actually, if anything, I'm happy for her. I really am. Because it means she's growing as a person and she's becoming a better person because of it. Which is awesome. Because before this... She, she used to identify as a fucking whore. So good for her. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> well, our next comic, now that I've gotten my therapy session out of the way, my next comic, he comes from Chicago. By day, he is an awesome teacher, but by night, he's an even better stand-up comic. He's got shows all over the Chicago area, and even a few coming up from the Chicago area. Put your hands together for our very last and best comic of the night, Mr. David Donick. Yeah. 